Now, YouTube family, what's going on here is there's been a string of things where people are alleging a certain individual as a guy that's kind of shady. I'm going to make a disclaimer. I don't know nothing about this dude. I don't know anything if he's shady or not. People are in my DMs. So what I will do is use my platform not to shield this guy that's being accused of being the back door, but just to say, let's pause and think. And maybe anybody else who can clarify it can leave a comment in the comment section or leave me a DM. So what's going on is we know Fulio unfortunately lost his life in Tampa. Now, there's a gentleman who people are saying who frequent with Julio at this store here. Hey man, I'm at right now. They got bed in Florida, man. I had so there's a guy who was with Fulio doing these type of things and being around and a situation where people are calling him a snake and he got ties to the likes of spinner bands and young and a's homeboys his name is Meezy, and a lot of people are saying he's the one who set up fulio i doubt it but i don't know i don't want to tell you guys he did or didn't but i'm looking at the videos of him here and it, it, it's things to show you that look at the picture look who's with fulio in the middle of that camera now look at your left and look at your right to this same individual the people who he's hanging with the people who he's around this caused a disturbance for people to say he's no good to be around folio because when you looking at it it's like why is bro also chilling with young and age people i'm gonna just be honest with you it's very strange and weird in fact this dude at mizzle he has same matching shoes with this other gentleman here and that enough ladies and gentlemen is to make me be skeptic of things and look at like you know we gotta venture off more into this and i'm not trying to be you no know, 12 or none of that i'm just like maybe people got tired of him maybe they had their reasons of why too they wanted to blame him i don't really have an answer other than i can report the news you know what i mean i've seen him around before on many people posting on social media i think he also was on clubhouse before if i'm wrong i want him to let me know we're gonna make sure this video get used in the right way not circulating around to say this guy's at fault maybe he's friends with folio at the same time but these are some of the things that let me down as far as folio he was supposed to move smarter he knows the situation he's involved he knows what comes with this so to see folio behave in this type of way of letting his guard down it lets me know to a video i did earlier he got tired of the back and forth he couldn't take it anymore things were eating him up probably and to see it you know shift left a little bit it was time for him to enjoy his day his day that he rarely gets to speak on he rarely gets to be around so i really believe folio was just like man f it i'm just gonna go out here and live my life and you got a lot of people around you now who may have not been so good for you as far as in your circles i mean i understand it though there's validity in this madness of people blaming this dude Meezy, only before uh for the fact that i will say because he's around folio in the room and he's chilling who's to say he wouldn't give a drop in a precise location but not only that folio himself was dropping locations let's not forget about that part Fulio himself is everywhere letting people see what he got going on and the beautiful part about his day is to tell them where he's going to be chilling and I don't think any of that was cool any of that was smart maybe his intentions was different but this is why I don't hang around many people is for instances like that now he's at the party with baddies and girls and that's another thing that could get you caught up you said you 20 deep lit now which one of them 20 people were the ones who played a part 
and you not being here fully oh these are things we have to pay attention to we have to systematically look at it as far as the domino effect now if you guys didn't see the news reports of fully no longer being here there are new reports that i want to get into Old park a crime scene taking up this whole parking lot behind me this is a holiday inn right across the street from usf here four people were shot and so were two cars police say they are also now a part of the investigation a birthday celebration that took a turn for the worst now cars filled with bullet holes are at the center of an investigation to find out why famous rapper julio fulio who just turned 26 was shot dead early this morning. At this point, it's part of the investigation, but it seems that they might have been coming here to the hotel to get a room. After a social media post from Julio Fulio said he and his friends were kicked out of an Airbnb. They found themselves at this Holiday Inn where hotel guests like Jeremiah Claypool had to be escorted to and from their rooms post gunshots. I only heard one, it woke me up, but I, apparently there were more than that. Police say they got the call at 440 this morning. Julio Fulio, whose real name is Charles Jones, was confirmed dead at the scene while three other shooting victims were taken to the hospital. No one has been arrested in connection to this shoot. Now, what's unfortunate about Fulio is many of these things been being told and being shown about him. And I need you guys to let me know in the comment sections how you feel about the whole thing with Fulio. But the way he moved around here was not the only time. He's been hit up many times. We know when he was 15, he got shot off the bus and he survived. We know he went to Houston. He got shot in the butt and he survived. We know he went to Jacksonville studio where he got grazed in the feet, returned fire and he survived. We know a fourth time again he got hit up and his feet almost got taken off and he survived. But the wool lady couldn't come through during the fifth time. And ladies and gentlemen, that's when it became enough. Now, everybody around Fulio should think twice before you hang around somebody who's marked for death. Because these people who are trying to get Fulio, I'm pretty sure based on the shots we've seen and the retaliations, they could have cared less about who was with Fulio during this time. And that's the thing involving these situations is get back, but when does the get back stop? And I doubt it, it ever does stop. Everybody who is around Fulio, everybody who's friends with him, associated with him, this is not over. But best believe the witnesses that we've seen in the news reports, they will end up closing the case. Because my thing is, it don't matter if these guys had masks on, gloves, because around the city of Tampa, these camera systems they have there, it's going to follow any tag that they had on the vehicle. Even if they didn't have a tag, these cameras also follow the vehicle numbers that's right ladies and gentlemen they have high def technology that will solve this case they're probably going to sit on it for a while just to see if they can get more people and apprehend them but better not mistaken this somebody will talk and people will get caught ladies and gentlemen i'm dj bless one love your family love your kids and stay blessed <laughs> oh, I've been so many times. Oh, I